The Butcher is a 300-ton mega-machine that trawls the ocean bed in search of diamonds off the coast of Namibia. For diamond giant De Beers, the stones on the Atlantic seabed represent the future, as onshore mines give up the last of their treasures. The operations onshore are at a crossroads. Um, we believe that they are still, there's still value in diamonds uh, to be extracted of onshore. Uh, it will require massive capital investment. Massive cash injections were needed, not least to build Mafuta, a ship which sucks up sediment on the ocean floor using a vast pipe. The diamonds are filtered out and transferred to retention cans, without the need for any direct human involvement. Those on board have to cope with extreme weather conditions while trying to minimize the damage done to the seabed. There is disturbance, but uh, the the natural events around us are far in excess and the rehabilitation period is fairly short. Undersea extraction produced 1.2 million carats in 2016, two-thirds of Namibia's total haul. But the partnership between the Namibian authorities and De Beers has faced criticism. Namibian diamonds are better quality and sell for higher prices than stones from neighboring countries. Kennedy Hamutenia runs a state firm which sells a small number of diamonds to bolster the government's coffers. The beers, they promote their own brand. They, they use our stones to promote their brand. Yeah. Now we want to create a very strong brand when the people are wearing it to know this is coming from Namibia. Despite the tensions, Namibia has renewed its partnership with De Beers for 10 years. It's a deal that brings in the country's biggest tax revenues as much as 200 million euros last year alone. 